Hello everyone, my name is Tyler. I am a customer success manager here at eFile Cabinet. And today I will be reviewing uh, creating templates and applying templates. The first step to create a template is to go to your hamburger menu in the top left hand corner of your screen and then click the admin button. Then about halfway down you'll see templates. Go ahead and click on the templates tab and you'll see that we have libraries in here already. To create a new library is very simple. Simply click on the Add button, create your library, and name it. Today I'm going to go into Tyler's library. And inside of Tyler's library, I already have a color template that I've been working on. Nevertheless, if you'd like to create your own, you just simply click on the Create Template tab there and name a template. And we'll just call that test. If I wanted to work on a template, I would just simply click on a template, in this case the color template, and you'll see that I already have file folder structure in here. To create file folder structure is quite simple. You can simply hover over the template and click on the file folder logo here, or you can right click and click add new folder. and you can rename your folder. And it will place your folders in Abyssandarian order. If you'd like, you can also apply a folder within a folder by hovering over it and clicking Add Folder. You can also add a predefined document to that folder, or you can upload a document to the folder. There's no need to click save as your template is automatically saved. And to go back uh, to home, simply click on your Rubex logo. Now to apply a template is quite easy. You'll simply hover over the location that you'd like to apply that template to, be it a drawer or a folder. Right click on it and then click apply template. A window with all of your libraries will appear and you will simply go and choose the correct template. In this case, let's choose the color template and click select. That template is now applied to that drawer. To go a step further, if you'd like to mass apply the same template to all the drawers within a cabinet, it's quite easy to do. You simply select the cabinet right click on it and then click mass apply here the same template window will appear and you'll select your template and that same template will be mass applied to all the drawers within the cabinet If you'd like, you can make sure that those templates have been applied by simply clicking the drop down arrow on the drawers. Now, if you'd like, there is a, you can go a step further and have your templates automatically applied to a drawer within a cabinet by going to the automation button. You can do that by going over to the vertical icon menu and selecting the automation button and also making sure that the cabinet that you would like to have that template automated in is selected and then clicking the plus button in the action menu you can select the dropbox and click apply template go find that template and select it. Now once you click Save, that action will be saved. And I've already saved the color template to be automatically applied in this cabinet, so I'll just click Cancel. And you can see here that my uh, color template has already been applied to be automatically applied to a drawer when I create a new drawer within this cabinet. 
when I click new drawer here, this new drawer is created. And you'll see that that template has already been applied. Now let's say that in the future that you wanted to change that template, maybe add a folder and make sure that that folder is added to every template or every drawer that you've applied that template to. That's easy to do. You'll simply go back to the template, go to your hamburger menu, click admin, and then go to templates. We'll go back to Tyler's library, click on the color template, and let's add a new folder. And we'll call this black. Now, when I go down to sync changes here at the bottom and click, those changes that I made within the template will automatically be applied to every drawer or folder that I've already previously applied this template to. Now we'll go back and check to see the changes. It doesn't show up now, but what we need to do in order for those changes to show is to simply go up to the, towards the top right hand corner of your software and click the refresh button. We'll get back into the color cabinet now. Check out Chase's drawer. And you'll see that the black folder has been added to each drawer. Now I hope you've enjoyed this template tutorial. If you have any questions, you can always call us or email us and we're quick to respond.